ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, y'all, I have some XXX Tentacion tea for you guys. I know a lot of you X fans have been asking me to do an update on him and his situation. If you guys do not know, his baby, his baby boy was born the other day. Um, so a lot of people were really surprised. Um, they didn't know that he had a baby on the way. And then a few months ago, his mother, Cleo, she ended up revealing to everybody that, you know, before X passed, he had gotten his girlfriend, Genesis, pregnant. And so he knew about the baby. He was really excited for the baby. So she gave birth to the baby last month. Her name is Genesis Sanchez. And the baby's name is Gekum, okay? Which I thought was just really interesting. I, y'all know I love unique names. I don't buy into all that. Oh, that name is Ghetto and all that bullshit. I love unique names. And she's saying that Gekum means a different state or the next universe of thought. And that's something that XXX came up with, which I can totally see him coming up with that. They also had a name called Zura in the event that it was a girl, but it ended up being a boy. And the baby is so adorable. Here goes some of his pictures right here. You know, it's really sad, though, knowing that he's never going to know his father and his father passed at such a young age but I really like his girlfriend she seems like a really sweet woman you know very low-key she's not an attention whore she wasn't on social media you know look at my stomach I'm pregnant by XX like you never really heard anything from her and you know that's the stuff I respect I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary her identity kept under wraps a woman in hiding for nine months. Her identity kept under wraps almost immediately after she found out she was pregnant. So why all the secrecy? The father of her baby is the late Broward rapper XXX Tentacion. Genesis Sanchez talks to Local 10 exclusively tonight about their relationship, the new baby's unusual name, and what she'll tell her child about the controversial SoundCloud singer. It is a little strange, especially since I've been so, you know, closed off for a very long time. 20-year-old Genesis Sanchez is enjoying being a new mom, tending to her baby in the Parkland townhouse she's been living in that's owned by XXX Tentacion's mother, Cleopatra Bernard. Cleo posted pictures of the girl's pregnant stomach on Instagram, but kept her identity a secret because of media interest surrounding who the girl was. The rapper found out a few weeks before he was shot and killed that he was having a child. He was murdered on June 18, 2018 in an apparent robbery as he was leaving a motorsports store in Deerfield Beach. He knew two weeks before he passed away. XXX already had names picked out, original names that he made up, one for a boy and one for a girl. And the new word is Gekum. Gekum means different state or next universe of thought. And yes, Jose did pick out this name before he passed away. He also had a name for a girl as well. It was Ziora. What's wrong? It's moving around. <laughs> um, he took a couple of letters from these different characters from his favorite video game, Kingdom Hearts, and he just mashed it all together. And I know it's kind of hard to say Gekum if I hear people like Gekumi, Gek, and I'm like, no, it's Gekum. But yeah, he, can go, he goes by Yumi as well. Sanchez wasn't even supposed to leave the house for the birth. There was a midwife ready to deliver the baby. The original plan was to have a home birth. Um, and it didn't really work out. Now at this point, we're at 26 hours in labor. And they were like, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to do an emergency C-section. She was rushed to Boca West Hospital with an entourage of people in tow. And then I had a very great support system with me. I had Cleo, I had my mom, and then the whole entourage. <laughs> People probably thought we were insane. We had like seven cars just to pull up to the hospital. <laughs> she and Anfroy had been a couple, she says, since January 2018, but they had known of each other for a few years. She says the two met previously when a mutual friend introduced them at a birthday party. Sanchez moved from Tampa to Parkland in February 2018 to be closer to him. Me and Jose are hermit crabs. We don't really like to go out and stuff like that. We spent a lot of time at home. We spent a lot of time playing video games. We didn't care to go out, especially even if we went out, people weren't noticing him. Like, so 
We even got to a point where we were grocery shopping sometimes at midnight. Sanchez doesn't acknowledge the stories about XXX Tentacion's controversial past. At the time of his death, Onfroy was facing charges of domestic violence from a former girlfriend who said the rapper beat her. After his death, lawyers were able to get the charges dropped. Sanchez, who has a tattoo on her neck, inscribed with the rapper's real name, Jose, says she will make sure her baby knows about his father. I'm definitely going to make sure, like, I'm not going to ever lie to him, that's for sure. He's going to know about his dad. He's going to hear about his dad 24-7. I'm going to tell him about all the fond memories that I have with, with his dad, Jose. I'm going to tell him how much he would have loved him. I know sometimes, probably when he gets older, it'll probably affect him more than he is younger. But he's definitely going to know about his father. All right, so you guys just watched that news clip. And like I said, I really like her. I think she's a sweet girl. She's not an attention whore. She's not trying to get fame and notoriety off his name. She just wants to raise her son and let her son know about his father, um, Jasse, a.k.a. XXX, and how much he meant to the world. So I really enjoyed that interview, and I really am glad that we got a chance to know her because, like I said, she, she doesn't do social media like that. But I'm glad that she's sharing the baby with the world and, you know, showing everybody what the baby looks like as opposed to just showing a foot or a hand like some of these celebrities do, okay? Um, but, you know, I wish her the best. I wish her the best. And I'm glad that her and Chloe have a really close relationship. I think that's really important that she keeps a close relationship with ex's family and his little brother and stuff like that. But, again, like I said before, it's just really sad to know that this young man will never get to, you know, physically hold his child, see his child. And it's sad that he died in the way that he did, which was so violent and heart-wrenching just watching, you know, everything take place. So, anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning genesis coming out and doing her first interview about her baby gekum with xxx how do you guys feel about this how do you guys feel about her and then how do you guys feel about the pictures of adorable little gekum he's so cute let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces